Now more than a month into daily protests over racial inequity. Now people are demanding changes to policing, an end to certain use of force, and removal of symbols that represent white oppression over people of color. So today I spoke with Dr. Sean Neeland. He's a pastor in Portland and the author of a book about social and racial dynamics in the U.S. And here's his take on the ongoing protests. Protests are about a decree of saying we want change, we want justice. It's dealing with the racial injustice that has been perpetrated over the years through police brutality. It's the precursor to real change. The real change happens uh, when laws are changed, when legislation is changed, when the actual treatment of those of African descent, Hispanic descent, European descent for that matter, all people are treated with dignity and uh, as a human. And I, and I see what is happening in downtown Portland. I denounce the violence over and over again. You're upending hundreds of lives by destroying one business. And it's not right. It doesn't bring about the change we need. If it's peaceful, it's very good. But when it turns to violence, it detracts from the real meaning of the change that we are seeking. I believe the way ahead is mentorship. All of the protests are great. The reform is great. We need to run for office. We need to become the police chiefs. We need to hold those judicial uh, positions so that we can be more fair in the criminal sentencing. And so when we get in power, when we take become a part of the system, we make a change. Ignoring color is not the answer. It's recognizing that we have different colors, but that color does not make you less than a human. That color does not make you less than me. We're teaching our kids to be divided. We're teaching our kids to uh, hate one another based on the color of our skins. And it is still happening today, all the way from the top, all the way down. To change America, we must change ourselves. We must change our mentality to have love, justice, and peace for all humanity. Dr. Nealon's book is titled The Courage to Stand, A New America. And he is also the pastor at Highland Christian Center on Gleason in Portland.